So, did you spend like 40 bucks on the Arctic Air, the Arctic Air Ultra, or even the Arctic Air Pure Chill, and you thought to yourself, man, I really wanted to spend like $100. Do they not have a taller option to this? Guess what? They do. It's called the Arctic Air Tower. Huh? And that's what we're going to look at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a look at the Arctic Air Tower to see if it's worth that $100 price. It's time to unbox the Arctic Air Tower. Ready? Go. There it is. Of course, I do have to put the base together, just those two pieces. When I first got this, I thought it was going to be like just a stretched version of the Arctic Air. This is the Arctic Air Pure Chill, but you can definitely tell there are differences in the two units. Um, so it'll be interesting to test it out. Let me put the base together and I will give you a height measurement, but here it is so far. The first step is funny because it's the most challenging. You're supposed to lay the Arctic air tower on its back. So the front vents are facing up and then it's supposed to not fall over, but I had to put a bench right there because this thing just teeters and totters. So now it's just resting there. So once we get that done, we're supposed to take the actual base and hook it together. And it's really just simple, just clicks into place. You can see where these things just align. So just snap it in, one, two, there's our base. Now we are gonna put our wire through the middle and snap this into the bottom and stand it back up. Since we have it here, I wanted to take the time to show you the filter. It does have a filter just like the other Arctic Airs. This one's just a little bigger. So there's this piece here we clip up and there is your filter. Isn't that thing gigantic? Now you are able to, it's a lot thinner than the other ones. You are able to put this in the dishwasher. It does say you can get it wet. I haven't read anything about it, you freezing it, but they recommend changing that every three to six months and washing it weekly. Here's the bottom of the fan. We stick our cord through. You can actually see that has a little spot here for the cord to actually fit through. And then we are just going to align these little tabbed spots with here, spin it into place because this fan does oscillate, which is kind of cool. So let me hook that in. It looks as though there is a specific way to do it. And I found that if you line this little dot up right here, it might just make it in. We're in, we spin, and clipped into place. Now is a good time to take, let me zoom in on this, this plug here and snap it into place just to keep everything nice and safe and secure. We got another one of these, stop. Do not return to the store. Are you serious? If this thing breaks, I'm absolutely returning it to the store. Also, I read through the directions and it does say you can freeze this gigantic filter for best results. So right here is where our water reservoir is. And look how I just went to grab that and how this thing just starts wobbling. I noticed that as soon as I set it up, it doesn't seem very sturdy. Now I haven't actually run it yet, but we'll see. So in here is where my water goes and it's got a little bit of a pump going on in there. And so we're gonna test this out to see if it keeps us cool in our room. Look at that wobble. Here we have our Arctic air tower. I'm gonna first take off this plastic piece because there's no need to keep that on anymore. Man, do you see that thing wobble? Every time I touch it. All right, so this button right here turns it on, so we click the fan button once. All right, so that's actually a decent breeze coming from the fan. What happens if we hit it a second time? It turned it down a little a third time, down a little more, and then number, I guess, four. And we turned it off. All right, so let's turn it back on. You see next to it, it has what looks like a light button. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see that. See how it's, oop. Let's, there you go. So see how we can see that's a light button. And so if we click that button, the lights here go dim. And then again, they turn off. That made me kind of sad because I wanted to see if this would light up like the Arctic Air Pure Chill does, but just really these lights at the top. Now, if we look at the next set of buttons, it's actually like a little clock. And what that clock means is you can set this as a timer. So I click the middle, two hours, six hours, 
eight hours, 12 hours. That's kind of cool. And you turn it off altogether. This last one is actually the oscillating button. So let's click that now. Of course, you see it start to spin, and I will say every time that that fan faces me, it does feel really cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to get the filter wet, freeze it, add some ice water to the tray, and just see how cool we can get. It's now time for the moment of truth. Take a look at the temperature in here. It's 78 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's about 25 degrees Celsius. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this fob right up here. I'm gonna stick it down on this table so the wind is just blowing at it to see if that temperature reduces. This filter has been in the freezer. It's rating at about 39 degrees Fahrenheit, which is down to about four degrees Celsius. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the cold filter, add this ice water to the basin in the back, and let it run to see if the temperature changes. It's the moment of truth. I'm gonna stick this up on top of the fan and I'm gonna stick this one in front of it Let's turn it on, frozen filter, ice water. Let's check back in 30 minutes or so. If I see any significant difference, I'll check back in sooner. Right out of the gate, we've already had a two degree Fahrenheit reduction. And I will say coming from this fan, I hear almost like a trickling water. So it sounds kind of like a water feature. So my guess is the water's pumping up and coming down over this filter. But within the first few minutes, already two degrees Fahrenheit drop, that's awesome. In just about 10 minutes, we've dropped four degrees Fahrenheit in front of the fan and one degree on top, so that's the room temperature. I should have said from the beginning, the humidity percentage is about 44%. That's pretty low for my area. And these um, type of evaporative coolers work better in lower humidity, although they can work in higher levels, but you might get muggy. But so far, so good. Here we are at the actual 30 minute mark. And as you can see, the temperature has gone down a few more degrees. It's now at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Now remember, I have this fob in front of it and that's what's reading at 73. The 77 is the room temperature. And I'm thinking, I've been sitting here for 30 minutes in front of this fan and this fan is very, very cool. And so I'm a still a bit of a skeptic. So I grabbed another thermometer and look at this. In front of the fan, it still shows 73 degrees. My humidity went up a little bit to 45%, but still it's pretty sweet. For those of you guys that do Celsius, the temperature in front of the fan is 23 degrees Celsius and the room temperature is about 25. I'm really impressed so far with how this is actually cooling me and the room down. So what are your thoughts so far of the Arctic Air Tower? Is it worth that $100 price point or should you just stick with your original Arctic Air or Arctic Air Ultra or Arctic Air Pure Chill? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. We are just about two hours in and as you can see, the temperature of this fob right here is still reading at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And for those of you with Celsius, it's 23 degrees Celsius. Our room temperature isn't really impacted a whole lot. So what this is telling me is my cooling has probably gotten to the lowest it's gonna go. Now I started out at 78 degrees Fahrenheit and now I'm down to 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty impressive. But after about two hours, I'm no longer getting any more reduction in the cooling. So this measures right at 37 inches tall. Just so you know, that's the height of your fan. This has been running for 12 hours on high. You can see here's the max line where we started and you can see the water level we still have. That's actually a lot of water left in this reservoir after running for a complete 12 hours. I would have expected to be a little lower. So you do get about 16 hours of cooling and water usage. You notice that I still have water down in here. What I found out though is it's too low now for the pump to pump that water out. So in order for you to dump this water out, you're gonna actually have to tip the unit out. That plug in the back doesn't actually go to this part, it goes to the reservoir underneath. Um, just so you know that um, as long as you keep this filled with water and your humidity is low, you should experience the cooling. In this video, we were looking at the Arctic Air Tower. So. What did I think of it? Well, if you freeze that filter and you put ice water into that reservoir, this puts off some cold air. I was sitting about five feet away from it, like, man, this is chilly. Where's my blanket? But 
that ice melted and the filter thawed. And although we got about a two degree Fahrenheit reduction in temperature from the fan as compared to the rest of the room, you're gonna get that from any fan. Any fan's gonna be cooler than just regular air, right? Um, not that long ago, I actually reviewed the Arctic Air Pure Chill, and this has a cool light thing around it, like sort of for ambiance. I know the Arctic Air Tower did, so I was really excited to see it, and then I realized it's just the little lights on the top. That was really disappointing, um, for me at least. I did like the oscillating feature, but it was annoying that every time you touch the fan, it just wobbled back and forth. So during the last week or so, every tower fan I saw, I went and tapped it. Some of them rocked, some of them stood solid. My thoughts though, a hundred dollar fan, it absolutely should be there solid and not rock back and forth. Then again, it didn't rock when you when it was actually in use. So the filter is an absolute must to be used in this if you're using water. I did notice when the water ran out, it still sounded like it was trying to pump. Like every once in a while, you'd have like a pumping noise, but no water could come out. So it's important to run this with water whenever you're using it and always use a filter because water will splash out. They do recommend you washing either by hand or in a dishwasher the filter every week. And after three to six months, you replace that filter. They provided a website that you can go to to buy new ones. I will link that down below. Anyway, that was my review of the Arctic tower. It's great for areas that have low humidity. If you have higher humidity, this probably won't do so well or it won't cool you as much as you think it will. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. Here's what it looks like with the filter on. It's going in here and then slowly coming down the filter and so it's constant water as long as you have that reservoir filled. So as the water progresses down through the filter, some of it doesn't absorb into the filter and it drops all the way down into a tray at the bottom. And they do have this little release here. You might have to tip the um, fan backwards to get it to fall out, but that's what this is for. It just cleans out the reservoir at the bottom. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Arctic Air Tower. You know what? During this review video, I actually referenced another Arctic Air product that I reviewed not that long ago, and it's called the Arctic Air Pure Chill. It's a much smaller version of that tower, and it does a few different things. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link that review video right up here, and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at that review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.